Well, we will see how this works out. This is the crude beginnings to what I hope will be a quick and dirty solar melter. Now I built a solar melter years ago when I first got into beekeeping and I built this little rinky dink thing. I built it out of scrap material and it just wasn't good. <laughs> and so I abandoned it and I've never really looked back, haven't really bothered. And for years I've been melting down beeswax, melting it in a pot of water, stirring it around, straining it out. And that works, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of attention. So I'm going to try again with a solar melter. Go figure, I just melted down all the combs that I had in the freezer. So I actually don't have any wax to melt, except I can remelt my big blocks, I guess, and filter them better. But anyway, what I've actually got here, what this box was I built, I used to have it in there in my greenhouse underneath the counter, and it was going to be a, a box for rooting cutting. So I had misters on it and everything else. And just yesterday, it just dawned on me, holy smokes, that thing's the perfect size for a solar melter. Um, and it's even got the materials I need. So it had this piece of quarter inch, maybe it's half inch, yeah, it's half inch. Um, screen, which is a little big for your for a screen on a solar melter, but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot and see what, what we get. But uh, I'm gonna do some repurposing. But ultimately, what I'm gonna do is I've got this flashing, which I use for outer cover, so I've already got that too. And I'm gonna line the bottom of this box with the flashing on an angle, so it'll drain. Y'all know that actually you can do it flat and just set your whole melter up on an angle. That's probably actually what I'll do. Um, and then I'll mount the screen just an inch or so above it so that it keeps the combs and stuff up off of it. You guys have seen that on the solar melters as far as you don't want your combs sitting right there. You can put your combs right on the flashing, it's fine, but sometimes you'll get cappings that'll kind of flow down with your wax, or not cappings, cocoons. You'll get cocoons that'll kind of flow down with your wax in your pan. So if you can kind of keep the combs up off the metal um, and give a screen or something to catch the cocoons, that'll, that works much better. So anyway, um, I'm gonna start kind of pecking away at it, but I'm gonna try to do all the construction in this box and this box will just serve as a lid. I'll put some hinges on the back side. It'll just be a, a lid I can open up. So let me do some tinkering around here and I'll give you an update as we progress. Okay, so we're just throwing it together here and y'all know how I like to build things. Just kind of get after it and see what happens. But basic idea I'm going with here is I've got my box, put a piece of plywood on the bottom and I've just fit this uh, aluminum pan. Um, I'm just using it kind of for a guide. So I made sure it would fit underneath and it'll be able to come back in here and sit underneath my drip edge there. So we've got, uh, got the first one put in, and then we're gonna get our second piece put in, and then we'll mount our screen above it, and we'll kind of see how it all looks then. Okay, so I think we got it pieced together here, and again, y'all know it's real rough around the edges, but I, it, hopefully it'll work. So you can see what we did, we got our metal put in, and then I just put another strip of wood on top of it, put the screen on top. And this is a real big piece of screen, so it's not gonna filter out anything as far as cappings or anything, but I mean, some, some will get hung up. I see it keeps saying cappings, cocoons. Um, so I could lay, you know, some finer screen or even paper towels on top to catch it. But for right now, just for a proof of concept, I'm going to go get a, a block of wax I've already melted and throw it in here. And see if nothing else, if we can't do a little bit of solar bleaching. So this is the melter. And then for the top portion, just made a top rim and put some clear panels on there. Uh, you know, something like a true greenhouse panel rather than just this plastic little kind of rolled looking crap. A uh, true greenhouse panel that kind of helps retain heat would be nice as well. But for right now, we're just going to throw it on top. So that'll give us our greenhouse effect. And, Let's get some wax in here and uh, see how it works. I'll probably say this is the end of the video for now, and we'll just give you a little update later on how well it worked. Okay, so um, the wax melter has been set up here and sitting out in the sun for, I don't know, maybe two hours. And this thing, by no means is this a good one. Is this perfect. Um, it's full of holes. So this little, you know, curly, curvy roofing material, it's, you know, got the curves all on the bottom so you got to put some foam padding so I just put in this foam padding at the top to try to seal it off a little bit but of course it's all full of holes down at the bottom and you know it overlaps in the middle so it's thicker than it should be which means it's blocking lights off. I need to replace it with one solid panel and I'm hoping to my wife actually has a two foot by four foot piece of polycarbonate greenhouse material in the house that I'm hoping she'll just give it to me because she's probably not going to use it for a while um, but anyway it's been set up running. I can see the edges of the wax are starting to melt already. Nothing has dripped yet, but that's a huge block of wax. So it's going to absorb a lot of heat before it really starts melting. Um, but according to this little thermometer that I have, and you know, see if I can get to focus here or not, but oh, hang on. I'm trying. I'm trying to get to focus without blocking it, but I think that shows you. 120 in excess of 120 degrees Fahrenheit in two hours. So that sucker's roasting in there. Um, can't remember the exact melting temperature of beeswax, but it's somewhere in that range, around 120, I think, 120, 130, something like that. 
So it is starting to melt, but yeah, nothing's dripping and running yet. So I'll be keeping an eye on it throughout the afternoon to kind of see if it does start to run, then I'm going to have to watch it and see, make sure that it actually runs down the middle like I want it to. Um, I can tell by looking at the thing, we don't have it level. It's leaning to this side. So I need to get it shimmed up a little bit or scoot it over or do something to make it um, be more level so that ideally the weights I put in the center keep it all centered. But And there you go. There's another cloud coming over. Today's partly cloudy, so not going to get a whole as much gain as I wanted, but we'll just have to see what happens.